Did you know that 1.2 million babies die every year due to abortion? That's leaving 1.2 million voices unheard. I stand for pro-life because I believe we should be the voices for those who aren't given a choice to speak. God values life, and I value life. I believe life is something beautiful, it is precious, it has purpose and a meaning. There is so much potential in each and every one of those babies' lives, but they'll never know. Abortion is cruel, and I believe an innocent life should not be allowed to be taken away like that. The methods used in abortion are unbelievable. A method that is now quite common is, it's called induced labor abortion, and what that means, it's it's where a previous abortion attempt failed, so the doctors will induce the mother to go into labor early. She gives birth to a living, breathing baby. They then take that living baby and leave it in a linen basket to die. Why aren't more people like you and I speaking up on behalf of these newborns practically being murdered? I've heard many people who support abortion say things like, a person shouldn't be punished with a baby for one mistake they made, or that child doesn't deserve to live a horrible life because of the mistake their parents made. But what I want to know is why aren't those people discussing and considering the fact that there are other options for that child other than abortion, other than death. That child can be adopted, have a beautiful home and a beautiful family and the life that that child deserves, but it's not getting a chance to say. The truth is, the abortion clinics and the doctors aren't telling their patients the truth. I read in a website where this lady who had performed in hundreds of abortion acts said, the doctors will lie to their patients because they only want their money. They don't care about the patients, they just want your money. Most of the time, abortions are accomplished through deception and false representation. They'll say one thing but really mean another. For example, I read in an article where a lady who had an abortion, she said, I was made to believe that I was doing something as natural as going to the dentist for a teeth cleaning. They told me I would be out for eight minutes and feel a little discomfort afterwards. They lied. It ruined 10 years of my life. I believe we should be lifting up our voices and speaking for those who aren't given a choice. We as people like to make things about us, therefore leading to selfish decisions. But for once, can we stand for what's right and not for what's in it for me? If you have ever had or if you have a baby sister, a baby brother, or a cousin, or a relative, think about them. You see, when it gets personal, it affects you. So I'll conclude this with one thought. How many baby brothers, baby cousins, baby relatives, friends can we save by speaking up and standing for pro-life?